good evening friends today i am going to show you a very small and important feature which odo gives under the inventory and the option is none other than consignment how you can set owner on the stored product because there may be different business cases which can help us to define product owner within our warehouse where some products are coming from outside but the ownership is not of the company who is operating odoo so there will be one or two different ways how we can manage consignment in standard way when we enable this anyone can you know like directly go and create a receipt where they can assign the owner so if i say i am assigning an owner and also item is coming from the same owner and i have gone to as a product which i am going to receive 10 products so i am just saving this and vis-a-vis -vis, i would also like to show you the impact inside the inventory in the stock valuation if i group by the product you can see con2 is not there anywhere currently as soon as i validate this the valuation is not going to hit i have received this product okay and if i still want to find there is no con2 product because if I go to location wise, then group by product, con2 is there, but owner is con vendor. So here, the simple fundamental of defining uh, this consignee or owner is it is not under my ownership. That's why I can see available quantity, but stock valuation will not impact at all. If I go to our accounting, you can go to general ledger you will not see any inventory in terms of con2 okay you can only see some of the entry which was made two days back <coughs> if i go and select today's date i will not see any moment inside the inventory inside the ledger now this is one part of it but when you are into business and you want to pay to your vendor also but you you are not committing anything to your vendor unless and until those products are sold out so i would like to present a different way to handle consignee also then stock valuation also then selling of stock also okay now uh, let's say for this con one which i have received by directly by receipt uh, if I am delivering, I will have no moment. But if I want to sell that product, I am creating a new sales order to a new customer where I will sell con to one unit and I confirm it. Then delivery will be generated and delivery will be done also, like for one unit. So there are two steps of delivery. So delivery will be done. There is no stock valuation till now if i go to ledger and if i do that there is no moment of any transfer now i will create an invoice so i will create a regular invoice in that journal item will directly hit local sales account so there is no inventory moment at all for this item so the thing is like you directly have sold that item but now you have to pay to your vendor so what you will do is uh, you can generate directly a vendor bill and then you can pay that con vendor for con to product okay so here there is no inventory moment will be registered at all but yeah stock received but not build will be registered here. 
okay so there will be no counterpart entry here it will be directly counterpart with debtors uh, sorry creditors account which is here from the same five number of bill which i have generated okay and local sales will register its own moment when i am uh, registering the sales so this is a one way to manage that now the another way is you can officially create a purchase order to the con vendor where you will buy con2 product let's say five units and you confirm it and during receipt you assign the consign and then you validate it so still now if you go and check your ledgers you will see there is only one unit which was received earlier but there is no new receipt done because it is only coming via PO but there is already assigned to an owner which is not registering any valuation in my stock so that is one way now let's say you still have five units available and you are preparing a sales order to any customer for that con2 product one unit and you confirm and you pick and deliver it okay so here before you create invoice what we will do is here is a twist what you will do you will go to your purchase order where you have purchased five units one you have sold out let's say and rest uh, you know uh, you don't want to uh, sell but keep it with you so what you will do is you have received five but while creating bill you will say you will create bill for only one unit and confirm it so this way you are going to pay this one unit and at that time in your ledger you will see this stock received but not billed for one unit only on the counterpart you will go to your sales order now where you have sold one unit and you simply create invoice with regular bill in general item you can see this and in ledger now you will find against this one item stock received you have counterpart of local sales to customer 4 for that 21 number of bill which is here so there is no purchase expense or uh, you know stock uh, entries which will made available for this particular item but you have received any units and create and consignee but in counterpart you have also sold one you have created a vendor bill for that which will register over here stock received but not billed and then you have delivered it also uh, to a customer but as this item has not received it will not create its counterpart in that particular interim stock account so that's the thing we have to take care of so here with this example one can you know make uh, any number of item directly receiving from uh, their vendor and then selling it off and then creating vendor bill and creating customer invoice or second way is you create a purchase order you receive the item with assigning owner and then selling it off then creating vendor bill then creating customer invoice so this is how you can do any order will help uh, in terms of you know making this step but this is what it will impact in your account also in terms of you don't have any inventories you only register stock uh, you know like receipt but not build and counterpart over here okay so stock is delivered but as it is not hitting my inventories it will not register but yeah stock is coming in via po 
so it will hit my stock receipt but not build account and counterpart you will have your creditors for the same bill so this is where you can manage one portion of accounting with consignee way where you are hosting uh, your vendors item at your retail outlet or your showroom you sell it off and then you settle the account at the end of month at the end of quarter whatever you wish so just so this is a, an option i am going again which is a part of inventory settings which you will get over here as a consignment once you enable you will be able to set owner to your any items inside warehouse and you can deal it with it this can this feature can be used in many other ways but this is the use case i wanted to show today thank you